Okay, now we are going to start. Please. Good morning, dear participants. Today's speaker, Mr. Parthavotim Roy, Deputy Librarian, Vishwal University. Today's topic is Library and Community Development, Category and Perspective. Now, may I request to Dr. Parker Kibrod to please start your talk. Namaskar. Welcome, participants of today's webinar organized by Vishwarthi Library Network. My topic of presentation is Library and Community Development, Category and Perspective. In my presentation, I shall mainly try to focus on four components, namely, Tagore Educational Philosophy, Tagore and Vision of Library, Community Development Program at Sriniketan, that is, Institute of Rural Reconstruction, and Role of Library in Social or Community Development. Educational philosophy and library are linked because Tagore's vision of library is totally derived from his educational philosophy. That's why I have chosen first point as Tagore educational philosophy. All we know that Rabindranath is popularly known as a poet, but Tagore traveled all branches of literature right from fiction, essays, drama, songs, tabloid short stories. Not only that, Rabindranath Tagore throughout his life wrote more than 7,000 letters and painted 2,500 drawings. Tagore, beyond literature, he is also made outstanding contribution as educationist, social reformer, as well as religious thinker. So Tagore's writing will enrich education and educational thought, there is no doubt in it. But like other educationists of the East or West, Plato, Rousseau, Gandhiji, etc., Tagore didn't write any advanced details on education. But his idea, his vision, his concept of education is spread on numerous writings in poetry, in essays, in addresses, in letters, and various other forms of literature. Similarly, Tagore's concept of library is also spread throughout his different literature. On library, Tagore directly wrote two essays. Those are library and library mukhu portrait. In a bibliometric studies, that is statistical interpretation of literary work, we have noticed that Tagore at least wrote in 76 occasions on library, which covers all aspects of library science, right from collection development, cataloging, librarians' quality, maintenance, as well as reading habit, documentation, Conservation, preservation, and what? Now, with this brief introduction, let me enter into the main concept, Tagore's educational philosophy. Tagore's philosophy is based on three kinds of freedom. Freedom of mind, freedom of heart, and freedom of will. Tagore believed, is a firm believer that without freedom, no creative work can be done. There must be freedom in all sphere of creativity. He believed, to quote Tagore, as God himself find his own freedom in his own creation, and then his nature is fulfilled. Human beings have to create their own world, and then they can have their freedom. So without, so God has freedom to create this nature. So the nature is fulfilled in all this. Place. Likewise. Human life, human objective of life can only be fulfilled, not only education, but in all space of uh, life uh, can only be fulfilled if he gets full 
freedom. Nowadays, educational institution is detached, is being detached from the society. That's why in our educational well, any calamity, any problem arises, the students and the out ex students doesn't feel that it's their institution institution. It's the they, they fail to observe belongingness. That's why the institution is being detached from the uh, society. It's now be slowly becoming and just degree awarding uh, society. Remaining this point, Tagore rightly mentioned that, quote, the higher education institution should assemble knowledge from all sources and disseminate it for the benefit of the masses in order to strengthen their own foundation. So thus, gathering knowledge and disseminating it to only to the students within the four walls of classroom is not enough. The gathered knowledge must be communication to the society to the support social benefit. Otherwise, uh, education, uh, the purpose of education, according to Chago, it's meaningless. And if we can disseminate this knowledge to the society for societal benefit, then, then only the foundation, the, the strength of own foundation, own foundation of the academic institution will be uh, strengthened. That is more, more important. For disseminating this knowledge, Tagore in his own creation, Shantiniketan and Sriniketan, or, organized different kinds of function and festivals throughout the year. Those function and festivals helps to disseminate knowledge to the masses. Those things, function and festivals may be celebration of Spain, Boston Utsav, or Bos Utsav, or whatever may, may be. Those are mainly intended to disseminate knowledges to the rural masses, to establish a bond between the society and the academic institution, in this case, our beloved Shantranikar. Tagore also believed that, to quote Tagore, it is my conviction, it is my firm conviction that, conviction that there is a connection between the education of the body and education of the mind. Between activities of the body and activities of the mind, there should be a harmonious act, spontaneity. That's why in Shantiniketan education, we can see the activity-based, craft-based educational system. And then only, then only, human beings, students can learn what, with joy, because joyful learning is real learning, which while learning, they can also enjoy it. Education is now becoming just merely imparting information, gathering of information and disseminating information, but education is not imparting information. Man has not born to carry a load of information. The purpose of root of life has to be realized. What is the root of life? Live and let live. Not only individual development, but development of the society. Individual fulfillment and social fulfillment. Tagore was a firm believer that individual fulfillment can only lead to uh, social fulfillment. And there are these two kinds of fulfillment are interlinked, interrelated, and interdependent. The aim of education is to realize fully through the knowledge and accept the entire purpose of human life. The human life, the purpose of human life, right, again lies on the development, development, and development, not only the individual, but also the social. And here lies the relationship, lies the bond between the individual and the society. Tagos believe that, that we have to know the mind and the nature of man, or the fundamental purpose of education is not merely enrich our stock of knowledge, but also to establish bond of friendship and love between man and man. Nowadays, educational institution, and they are able to establish this kind of bond with their neighborhood, this kind of bond with society, this kind of bond with man to man, unless we can establish a such kind of bond with the society, which nowadays in technical terms, denotes as lab to land program. Tagore thought it long, long before. That is what we gain in the laboratory, what we derived knowledge within the classroom must be disseminated, must be communicated to the society for establishing a social bonding. It is necessary for us 
to understand the unique individuality of others, wherein lies the real language of soul and man, soul of man. That's why he gave a call in Bengali. It is Hirachal Mati Chane. Je Mati Achol Pete, Che Ache Mukher Pane. That is the call he gave to the academic institution, all he gave to the intellectual community to go to the Mati, to go to the land, to go to the Arma, to go to the rural people, so that the establishment of bond can be established and the real purpose of life, real purpose of the academic institution can be achieved. A natural bond of education in the school and colleges and the country outside is immensely necessary. Again, I am talking about establishing a bond with school and colleges and, and the events outside, which is immensely necessary. The Port Tagore in Bengali, Amra Boil Location, Pithini Location, Boil Lok Amadar Bukke Munohar, Pithini Lok Amadar Bukke Class. So, that is the bookish knowledge. Bookish knowledge, excluding the beneficiary, excluding the social beneficiary, excluding the neighbor, neighborers is of meaningless amra ke bol bhoy bhoy jai bhoy bhoy chai bhoy bhoy shudhu puti aurai hai shikha amader ke porabhuto kore so chako was not a deliverer of that kind of education will which will make our as a like bonded labor of knowledge education and lot of information knowledge is the greatest factor of unity among human beings to knowledge, unity of human being is uh, po possible. Through knowledge, one become conscious of human unity, which transits different time, difference of time and mind. Learning about its unity, no one should be deprived of joy that issues from the consciousness, consciousness of the unity. So for simulating this knowledge, for establishing this bond, for establishing library, education institution, library and society, this bonding, this unity, unity the idea is important. In this institution, Tagore was not a just not a dreamer. He gave his ideas and ideals with the establishment of Queen Campus, Shanti Niketan, and Srinikan. So in something what he believed his uh, as core of his educational philosophy he tried to give his its concrete safe in these twin organization he believed quote knowledge associated with joy and satisfaction increases power of learning consequently our power of reception apprehension thinking judgment develop easily and naturally thus in his institution in his school which is derived from three more concepts. One, learning from the nature. Two, establishment of bond with uh, educational institution and freedom. Freedom of mind, freedom of heart, and freedom of will. So, and at the same time, the arrangement of different types of craft based educational system like music, dance, woodcraft pottery, painting, all that. That's why he introduces this kind of course with the school system because he believed that learning with joy will increase the power of reception, apprehension, thinking, as well as judgment of the student community will automatically develop easily and naturally. Check out Educational philosophy is also based on circulation of life's blood into the limbs of the society. To bring the villages health and knowledge, a wealth of space in those lives, and wealth of time in which to work, to rest, and enjoy mutual respect will give them dignity. So not only just disseminating the knowledge to the rural masses, disseminating knowledge to the limbs of the society from the upper hierarchy. It must be communicated in such a way that mutual race, mutual respect and trust between the Rishiva and the Giva is established. That is important. That's why, that's why Tagore established 
plunging ceremony, hollow cushion, the first plunging ceremony, he himself plowed the land. That is to glorify the farming profession, to dignity, the dignity of labor, to establish the bond. He himself organized this kind of functions, which is still celebrated in uh, Sri Niketa. This was the, my first part, that is Tagore's educational philosophy. Now, we, are, we shall come to Tagore's, in my second facet, Tagorean vision of library. My, I have earlier mentioned that Tagore didn't write any book on library, but through his numerous writing, we can get different ideas of his of, the, of his library concept, the part which covers all facets of library science, even today's modern library science components are also based or also derived from those kinds of ideas Tagore gave long, long ago. Tagore, as the president of Indian Library Association, wrote an essay. It was not, it was not possible for him to attend the seminar. Instead of him, his presentation was read by Dr. Gori Dotto. In, so that was his classic concept of library. Tagore, in two essays, Library and Library Mukhu Kartopo, narrated the core concept of library, both functional as well as philosophical aspect. In philosophical aspect, he narrated that in library, we are standing in a road crossroad of thousand roads. Library no the amra shahosho prate chulma thai daniya. In he narrated in philosophical aspects of library that Himalaya er mathai ato shahosho bachore bunna banda achi. Library no the mano bhido er bunna banda. In the top of Himalayas, a good number of card is there. If the borrows is the ice tries to decrease, then it will create flood. Similarly, Tagore expressed that in library we collect, but, but the collection which is not used can be of no value. To quote Tagore, the part of its contents of, is for the purpose of extensive accumulation has its usefulness, but the other part which is for constant and varied use gives its significance. So library collection has to be developed with the purpose of its extensive use. The number, I have so many of books in my library is not meaningful. The main purpose, how many or what percentage of library collection is being used by the student is more important. To quote Tagore, greed is one of the main, one of the cheap men's internal enemies. Once he start to gather and store, he become distrusted with the obsession of number and tends to overlook the purpose of its accumulation. That is an important concept of collection development. So we, we know that collection development policies, that is the best book for the largest number at least cost, or right book for the right person at right time, is these ideas is narrated by Chekhov, by this quotation that library collection must be used for the student benefit. We are we develop different kinds of lab access point to library collection, B catalog, classification, bibliography, and many other modern technology tools. But Tagore suggested same thing long ago to quote Tagore. It is necessary that the content should be clearly and specifically brought to the notice. So library collections content should be brought to the notice of the Client and brought to the notice of the user. What we are doing, cataloging, classification, bibliography, all are do done with this purpose, with this objective. Again, to quote Tagore, otherwise it is very difficult for the ordinary man to find his way about them. And the library is left as a city of fast accommodation that lacks means of communication. So providing access point to the library collection is important for establishing the communication, establishing 
the link between the user, his or her requirements, and the library collection. Tagore, being a poet, has narrated it wrongly. In library, there is catalog, which describes the library collection. Catalog termed as key to library collection. But catalog has no invitation. It is like, there is my catalog, come and select for yourself. But the usual catalog, there is no introduction, no invitation, and no spirit of welcome. The library alone can be called hospitable, which shows an eagerness to invite readers to the feast of its disposal. That is the code. It is such hospitality that makes a library big, not in So for disseminating the knowledge, for disseminating the information, for giving the documents the library has to the users, besides the traditional or modern access fund tools, librarian must have that kind of hospitality, to invite the scholars, invite the user, to the library and that makes the difference. I can just share one of my experience. In my library, I started to, I told the person in the circulation section, and whenever a user issues a book, whenever he is going, please tell him about it. Please come again. That makes the difference. So the user feels that it's their belongingness. It's their library. So there comes library more frequently. These kind of hospitality we introduce in our library, our show, some kind of personal touch, that will make the difference, that will establish the bond between the library and its user. And that is the important thing. Libraries have to provide services to the readers with human touch because, to quote again Tagore, the library by itself imposes a responsibility the responsibility relating to riches, insofar as the library contains books, is attains fulfill, fulfillment only through having those books read. It will not remain active. May it play an active role by issuing it all. That is important. Librarian must have the quality of hospitality, not the quality of a storekeeper. That is, that is the basic concept. Rabindranath spoke about library that people can never truly educate from colleges and teachers. On the other hand, they should be the teacher of his own and library is their proper place of education as he can learn many things only from huge reading in the library. But self-learning library is must in a letter to Pramotanath B.C. Because within the textbook, to supplement a textbook, reading of numerous reference books is essential. Those reference books can only be found in library. The worth of librarian, or the worth of librarian, Tagore not only Gave his ideas about the library collection, its development, conservation, preservation, preservation, but also he told about the librarian. Regarding librarian, Tagore narrated, to quote Tagore, the worth of librarian I would gaze by his power of attracting and looking at the such circle of attracting as the intermediary for any intimacy relationship between the reader and the library. So librarian has to establish an intimate relationship between the reader and the library. Then only reader can feel belongingness of their library. Then only a bond between the reader, reader between the user, between the common student community and the library will be established. And for this, librarian must have the quality of hospitality. Librarian must have to fulfill this uh, a hospitable librarian with his positive attitude towards service can convert a casual user to a regular library. So librarian responsibility also to convert a casual library user to a regular user, that has also been narrated by Tagore long, long ago. 
to court a court. A library which makes just enough provision that can be placed before the guests of their delegation with a librarian who has the qualities of a host, not a store. But nowadays, in many occasions, we just collect books, keeps in the libraries, keeps, keeps in our drawing room as a showcase. Tagore in a poem of Monica, it's in Bengali, but I'm tempted to uh, tell a few lines in Bengali to put Tagore on that poem. poem. Pashan Gata Prasad Pare Achen Bhagbu Gondho, Mehogonir Mancha Juri Mancha Hajar Gondho, Sunar Jale Dag Pare Na Akkole Na Keu Pata, Anashadito Mothu Jamon Juthi Hona Gata, Dhitto Nitto Dhula Jare, Jokno Pura Matra, Ure Amar Chandu Mui Shetai Kobi Kodhu Chandu. That is, in, in, in library, in, in drawing room, in well-furnished self, we keep books, but Servants, housekeepers, just, just free those books regularly, but those pages of the books never turn. That kind of librarian, that kind of showcase in Brando is of meaningless. That is just share the stage. Tago, now I'm coming to my third part, that is community development program Tagore's Institution of Rural Reconstruction. Tagore in 1980, 1980, 1880, visited his Jamindari, paternal Jamindari in Shilaido and Patisha. And there he got his first hand experience about rural life. To quote Tagore, people used to come with their joys and sorrow, their calms and complaints. All these enabled me to form a true picture of humans. The idea, the real picture of villages Tagore got is young age in 1880. From that time, he tries to establish a center, an institution for rural reconstruction or rural development. Because from that time, he developed to quote Tagore, gradually the sorrow and the poverty of the villages come clear to me. And I began to grow restless to do something about it. From that knowledge, from that observation, from that feelings of sorrow and poverty of rural masses, and the inspiration to do something, the restlessness to do something for the rural masses, Tagore established Sriniketan, the Institute of Rural Reconstruction in November 1991. It was established with the vision of Tagore, the active initiative direction of L.K. Elmast, and fund of Mrs. Dorothy, who later became Mrs. Elmast. The objectives of Sriniketan, it has clearly been stated, the community development program clearly stated the objectives or the vision of the institution in its objectives. To quote Tagore, the objectives of Sriniketan is to bring back life into the completeness, life into the completeness into the villages, making them self-reliant, self-respectful, acquainted with the cultural tradition of their own country, and competent to make an efficient use of the modern resources for the improvement of their physical, intellectual, and economic condition. That is important. So rural development means not only economic development. Rural development means physical development, intellectual development, and economic condition. That has clearly been stated in the objective shop, uh, Sriniketan, the Institute of Rural Reconstruction. And, and that has to be done with self-respect, maintaining cultural tradition of our own country. That's why in Sriniketan program, all the activities, all the functions and festivals organized by the Rural Extension Center Srinikatan, even today, are linked with the rural masses, are involved with kind, one kind of self-involvement. For development of physical, they organize Roti Dal. For intellectual, they organize different kinds of 
library in two community development blocks of Sriniketan, Santiniketan, Bolpur Sriniketan, and Ilam Bajar in 34 rural libraries. It has been clearly stated in Objectives of Rural Development that to take the problem of villages and the field to the classroom for study and discussion and experiment of the farm. So the bringing the problem of the land, bringing the problem of the poorest of the poor, bringing the problem of the farmer to the classroom, to the laboratory for experiment was one of the objective of the clinical. That is the role of the academic institution, which is involved, including library, towards the society or community development. Another object of Sriniketan, it has clearly been stated that to carry the knowledge and experience gained in the classroom and farm to the village and thereby to help the villagers in their moral and material progress. So the experiment gained, what we call today now lab to land, the experiment gained in the laboratory, the re research output done by the academic institution, agriculture institution, rural development organization must be brought to the villages, not only for their materialistic development, but also for their moral and material progress. Again, to work out an all-down system of elementary education in the villages with the ultimate object of developing the ideas of citizenship. The ideas of citizenship, the ideas of brotherhood, the ideas of uniqueness, the ideas of one concept also became part of Tagore's World Development Program, his ideas of elementary education. That's why in Sriniketan he established Shikha Shatro and other training and vocational institutions. If we go through the rural Tagore's model of community development, we can find one side programs and another side implementation. Program can be divided in different parts, like economic program, educational program, information communication, health, village organization, research and training, school, Shikha Shatra and Shikha Charcha, and Lok Shikha Shamsa. For academic thing, different kinds of seminar, Frida Library, Kalantika, the mobile library, I shall come later on about this, village fair, and the celebration of different function and festivals. To implement these ideas, I mean these programs, the Samaj Kormis like Kalimon, Go, Santosh, and others used to go to the villages to implement this program, to being being among their part, being one among the villages. Thus, Lokshika Shangshap is Tagore's distance education model, mm -hmm. which he started in Lokshika Shangshat, and there is a good number of books under Lokshika series, almost 133 books, and degrees were given through Lokshika Shangshat, Addo, Moddo, and Tabo. And at one point of time, there were 184 academic centers, including Allahabad and others all over the India, to organize uh, these uh, programs. And the book form, booklet, Lokshika Shangshat series, there are a huge uh, scope of work on this uh, activity, analysis and interpretation of Lokshika Gunthumala uh, and its modern implementation of establishment of Distant Education Center in 1984 by Indian National University. Chalantika was Tagore's mobile library. In this connection, I would like to mention that it is not wrong or nothing. It is Rabindana who established mobile library in 1921. Ranganathan started mobile library in Telangana in 1930. So Tagore is the pioneer of mobile library in Shantinikata. He gave the mobile library a, po library a poetic name that is Chalantika, moving library. In a statistics, it is observed that in the year 1929, there were only 450 books in Talantika and number of books issued 729. That is 450 is collection, total collection of uh, Talantika in 1929, in, out of which 729 books were issued. That is almost twice. Nowadays, we have lakhs of books. What is the issue ratio? What are the use? 
so that is that is important thing and please remember the at that point of time the books were carried to the villages with cart and samaj kormi is like almon goes and others used to go to the to that villages remember in the year 1921 the rate of literacy in india and particularly in rural india was very very poor so the rural masses was not in a position to read the books the samaj kormi is used to read the books and thus try to disseminate knowledge to the rural masses and to attack the rural people towards the moving wheel chalantika bioscope was organized bioscope used to organize to, to see the bioscope people used to come to the library, to the moving wheel and the samaj ko means used to read books for them is it not knowledge dissemination similarly I, in a statistics uh, this statistics is compiled from bishwarth annual report 1929 to 1934 uh, we can observe that use uh, use of uh, books of chalantika because those books were really related with the livelihood of the rural be uh, rural people that is more important how to farm how to pottery how to poultry how to organize poultry how to feed animals all these kinds of information just relating to the livelihood of the rural people were included in that collection that's why they were so interested to uh, to read the books and interested to listen and from the uh, samaj kormis uh, i'm tempted to quote uh, two lines from 1936 1937 uh, the shobarti annual report that there were 14 adult santals who regularly read books from circulating library at shimli 1936 37 14 adult santals used to come to uh, circulating library of sriniketan uh, to uh, study uh, books these books are circulated through the teachers who lived in the villages so the person lived in the villages involved for circulating those books this is the involvement involvement between institution and society between institution and the uh, is community people that was also earlier narrated about tagore's educational philosophy in 1937 36 37 the books were issued all together during this year or among the santal so santal people were issued 42 books in 1936 1937 at present what is the present uh, what is the present scenario of the uh, rural library uh, program in srinagar After the establishment of Raja Ram Mohan Roy Library Foundation in 1975, this rural library program of Niketon became an integral part of Raja Ram Mohan Library Foundation, which is under Ministry of Culture. So now it is done with a matching grant from Raja Ram Mohan Library Foundation and Vishwabhav. Raja Ram Mohan Roy Raja Ram Mohan Foundation gives 50 percent budget. and this was the capacity person budget and now 37 libraries are being run by in two community development blocks of bolpushani ketan and ilam bazar in nine panchayat areas these libraries are not only the libraries to issue books but these libraries have become a center for rural communication it is community linked information center So rural people who are looking for any kind of things for celebration or any festival for celebration of any important day like uh, Rabindra Jayanti or Gandhi Jayanti or any other important days, Independence Day, they used to come to the library, and that place became a meeting place of rural people, a place of exchange of ideas. In this. Uh, Now, Chalantika Library given excellent service to the society since from its inception. The circulating library, along though very small, is first kind of it's in Bengal. It has been mentioned elsewhere how quickly rural children pull back into literacy. The chief reason for this is the fact that they do not have access to any books. 
and most of the people are too poor to buy any book. That the rural children are keen to read is shown by the fact that 729 books were issued during the year 1920. Because at that time, it was not possible for the rural people, rural poor masses, I mean mostly illiterate people, to buy books. So from that time till today, rural Sindhiketon is providing excellent service to the community development ideas. Now, I, in a nutshell, I shall try to narrate the pictures I have been given along with the along with my presentation. The first one is sitting under a tree, which is based on the concept of learning from the nature. Second one, celebration of Basham Tutsa, celebration of spring festivals, that is also a means of communication with the rural people, communication with the neighbors, establishing bond with the society. The course edu education and philosophy, integral part is enjoyment, activity-based nature. In this picture, it has been given that Bala Bhavan peoples are trying different kind of stage, different kind of momento for the students. In this, this is the statue prepared by Ram King Karbej. And this is the core concept of Tagore Rural Development Program to establish bond between society and library, between lab to land, exp between experiment gain in the classroom and to the society. And to quote in Bengali, I'm tempted to read two lines. So he gave a call to the society. This is a picture of rural development program in Sriniketan, where weaving is being taught in the year 1937. This is also a picture of pottery in the year 1941. Because for economic development of the rural masses, Tagore believed for economic development as an integral part of community development, Tagore believes that rural, traditional rural handi handicaps must be developed. That's why in Sriniketan we can see different wings like pottery, weaving, party, and other things. And at, from the instance of Sriniketan, these programs were used to organize in different villages too. So the first picture is weaving, second one is pottery, and third, this is the uh, photograph of Holocaustion that is planning ceremony to enrich to honor the farming profession. These are the pictures of Samaj Kormis associated Tagore with the rural domains of the villages. This is a photo of Kali Mongos who trained, is giving training to the rural youths for gardening. This is the survey for any kind of development to draw any kind of plan and proper data is important for collecting data of rural masses at that time, how many people affected during malaria and other diseases. Students of Sriniketan under the leadership of Samaj, Samaj Kormis used to move to the villages to collect data. This is a unique picture of data which the villages conducting survey in the rural areas. This is a Tago during planning ceremony. Tago himself in the first photograph of Tago himself in the first planning ceremony of Shrenika. Now I'm coming to the, my concluding part of this discussion. It is established that Tagore's vision on library as expressed in his poetic language are based on his education philosophy. Thus, Tagore's concept of library is derived from his education philosophy. Library is for the people, by the people, and of the people. It should provide knowledge for development, prosperity of the society, with freedom of joy to every individual choice. Not only just providing knowledge, but also knowledge of every individual choice. 
and establishment of bond between library and society system. Establishment of bond between educational institution and society of society is Tagore's belief to quote Tagore, reform of education and regeneration of villages are the major tasks of my life. So education and village development, village development, rural construction were Tagore's top priority. That's why I've chosen this topic, library and community development. As library is also an integral part of education, Tagore's education philosophy, and Tagore's vision of library is derived from his education philosophy. Tagore's Srinikatan Rural Development Project or Community Development Program was his pet project. It was not possible for the Tagore to take the responsibility of the entire country. It is a project and he believed that from this project, the idea of rural development, the idea of self-respect, the idea of self-reliance is spread throughout that country. To quote Tagore, I cannot single-handedly bear the responsibility for the whole India. I shall conquer only one or two villages. But if I can liberate these two or three villages from the bondage of ignorance and incapacity, then a small scale of the idea would be established for the whole of India. That was Tego's dream. That was his project, community development project, and with ambition that it will spread all over the country. Thus, the core concept of Tagore's educational philosophy, core concept of Tagore's idea of rural reconstruction was to create a society where the mind is free, the head is held high. With this, I would like to give thank you. Thanks to all the participants of the lessons today. Thank you. PDF format of Pelego Baloto. Regarding characteristics of feature of librarian, Tagore core underlying concept is Gontagarike Otiti Palone Jogota Thakbe Gudamro Kroke Jogota Noi. Librarian must have the quality of hospitality, not that of a storekeeper. That is one concept. In another place, he has mentioned that he has, librarian has the responsibility to create a circle of clients get a circle of user, they will help the library in his, in his proper function. And, and in quotation, if I uh, allowed me to take a quotation in Bengali, to quote Tego, Esho puthi pori charo, torthit karo, tarok tumi kandari, Esho goni dhurandhar, kapo purandhar, dhubi baron kandari. So this was the quality Tagore expected from the library. He will not only describe the books, Esho Puthi Porichayo, not only introduce the books to us the user, but also he will be the bridge. He is the person, person responsible to make the bridge between the user, in or, his or her document, establish a bridge between the user his, and his or her information on knowledge. And at the same time, he expected that librarian must be must have some kind of knowledge in mathematics as well as literature. Thank you. Question. Yeah, participant. Any more questions? All participants are requested to unmute their microphone if you have the question. Otherwise, you will keep the microphone mute. I have a question, sir. Yes, yes you can. Our speaker will kind enough to answer the question. Please. Is there any question?
character belongs to the library or library professional in Rabindranath Tagore's literature. In lab regarding library profession, I have al already mentioned that Tagore was first president of ILA and at that meeting he couldn't attend the meeting due to his illness. He gave a write-up and that was read by Pinpuri Dotto at that uh, conference. And that in that meeting that that indicates the and two writings Tagore directly wrote on library. One is library and another is library Koto. In library and library Mukho Kotto, both these two essays directly linked up with philosophical as well as functional aspects of library. In functional aspects of library or librarian city or library as a profession, please look at that time, librarian city or library profession was not so much established as a profession. But Obviously, Tagore's, if you go through Tagore's writing in the year 1929 to 34, and Sorry, if sir, we have a question is, is there any character like postmaster? Is it is a story? Uh -huh. No, is that no, 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 such, such, such like character is not there in, in library, but but Tagore was very much fond of library and library profession. That's why he appointed. As, as a librarian, and from him, he regularly used to collect different kinds of information, even reference information from Prabhupada. I can uh, give reference once he wrote to Prabhupada that I find Pradosh, Pradosh of the Orthodoxy Pachi Is there any meaning of that word Pradesh? Pradosh, he wrote to Prabhupada for getting information. So if you consider as an Indian librarian, or library character. Look, Tagore was not an idealist. He gave concepts, he gave his ideas and his ideas. So, by making Prabhat Kumar as a librarian, who we consider as the first library scientist of Bengal, Tagore established a library character in his institution. And as you know, that Prabhat Kumar also derived Shadow Dasumi Gorikoran, which is a two decimal classification scheme. That is also a part of uh, Tagore's inspiration. And he first uh, uh, classified the collection of Brahma Shamaj and Calcutta and later on here in uh, Shantitika. So, this kind of character he developed uh, not in literature but in practical in his institution at Shantitika. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Another question. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, one by one, Hello? please. Hello? One by one, you raise the question. Hello. What I'm is the question? Sorry, I couldn't. Could we mention? Could we mention about elements in rural construction? Yes, of course. Because because Rubinona sent his son to Illinois University in USA to learn agriculture. Please remember, in the in, in those years, in 1920-21, when agriculture was chasar bitti, sorry, I am quoting it in Bengali, when agriculture was chasar bitti, Tagore sent his son to learn agriculture in a foreign university with the objective that after acquiring modern techniques and technology of agriculture, he will come back to Sri he will come back to India and, and develop those kind of technology communicate those information, communicate those knowledge to the rural masses. And Elmas, Tagore invited Elmas to come to Sriniketon for its development. As a result, Elmas comes to Sriniketon in November 1921. And the Sriniketon project started with the activity of Elmas. Obviously, the brain was to And Elmas was the first creator of Sriniketon. And please note that in independent India in 1950, in Indian Agriculture Commission, Elmas was also a member of that commission. That's why the Institute of Rural Institute of Agriculture University, Institute of Agriculture, Polish Shabdavan was established in Sriniketan. As Tagore was also a member of that, uh, sorry, Elmas was a member of that uh, particular uh, committee. So, in developing rural, develop, in development of rural because the center in Sriniketan, 
Elgast was a key uh, player. And the fund for this organization, besides Tagore's own fund of Nobel Literature, uh, Nobel Prize, was given by Dorothy, Dorothy, Mrs. Dorothy. Later, Dorothy became Mrs. Elmer. So, Elmer and his wife, Dorothy, has a tremendous contribution in establishing the Rural Development Project, Rural Development Reconstruction Program in Srinagar. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor, for your nice presentation and elaborate answer. If you, have any question, if you have any question more, then you can write in the chat box also and also to the mail, our speaker, Dr. Rai. So uh, I request our speaker, Dr. Rai, to give the answer and I will send the all content of the mail uh, chat box to the Rai and he will uh, give the answer accordingly. Okay. Sir, I have already uh, wrote down my... Hello? Hello, please. Oh, okay, please. Hello, please. I have uh, Hello? I'm already uh, noted down my uh, question at the chat box, but okay. didn't get the result till now. The question is very simple. What happens to the Cholantika project? Yeah, Cholantika project started in 1921. That's... <laughs> it is, that, me, that, me, you are explained that part. Then what, what happened? It's now. Now, so, I have also explained. Please uh, listen. I have also explained that after establishing the Raja Ramon Foundation in 1975, the Cholantika project and Ramon Library Foundation joined hands together. And instead of mobile library, Srinikatan Rural Extension Center has established 34 rural libraries in two yeah. community development blocks of Srinikatan, Ulpur Srinikatan, and Jambaja in nine rural panchayats. Yeah. Those libraries are run by Rural, uh, rural Reconstruction Center, Sriniketa. And their librarian and assistant librarian serve those libraries. You'll be glad to know that even right now, even today, the librarian and assistant librarians are serving those libraries with, without any remuneration voluntary. Some of them have even PhD qualification. Those libraries okay. are run very much. And Deshe Bhi Deshe, a, a, a journal entered Deshe Bhi Deshe is not, even today is being published by those libraries. They used to organize uh, um, the collection of books from the villagers uh, in librarians' day. In this year itself, 1037 books has been collected by those uh, uh, the, uh, uh, distributed to the libraries of 34 villagers. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Sir. So now we may uh, okay. conclude the session. Now we conclude the session. Okay, next session will be in 22 June 2008. And uh, our uh, resource person, Sri Ramkushan Mojinda, uh, topic is guidelines and experience in this space. So 22 June 2020, next webinar. Thank you, thank you, part of the Okay, part of the thank you, thank you very much for your all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, uh, all participants are also requested to open their uh, video to take a session photography. Please open your video to take a session photography. I request all the participants to open the video to take a photography of this session. Sir, my video is not coming. There is some problem, technical problem. What can I do, sir? Sir, my video is not getting open. Hello. 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 Hello, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, can you see me? I cannot identify you. How how I can identify you? Yeah, I I, I so, raised my hand. But, uh, most of the uh, those are uh, coming on my uh, 
screen i am taking the photo of that uh, sir, uh, participant sir, my, there, there, there was a technical problem now it is okay now my picture is okay uh, there may be a technical my, problem but uh, that I, I i am not possible to i am not able to solve the pro problem your problem from here so uh, right now those I, are showing on my uh, screen i am taking the uh, photograph of them i raised i raised, i raised my hand you can recognize me Okay, next page. I'm going to next page. Uh, here, most of the uh, participants are not opening their videos. Please open open your video to take the session photo. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, all of you. Now we are uh, going to let me finish the program today. Okay, thank you. Thank you.